Hello and welcome to another video blog post from CMSQuickStart.com, your place for highly configured, beautiful looking Drupal themes. And they're more than just Drupal themes, they're, they have pre-configured content types and views and blocks. And uh, real quick, I want to show you that we have two new ones here, and then we're going to launch into the attachment display of views in Drupal 6. We just added uh, two new themes to the CMS Quick Start theme offerings. Down here is uh, City Guide and Energize. So CMS City Guide and CMS Energize are new. Check them out. The live demos are right there. You can take a look. Who am I? I am Doug Van. Check me out at DougVan.com. And today we're talking about this. Views. And I'm going to use my uh, live website to show this off. Um, out of the box, Views has only three display types over here. Now I have a lot of stuff installed, so you're going to see more than three. But uh, attachment, block, feed, and page. I said three, didn't I? I meant four. You know what I mean? Attachment, block, feed, and page. In reverse order, page is, of course, a page. When you create a view of a page, you give the page a path, and you go to your site.com slash that path, and you get the contents of your view. Uh, block, kind of similar, creates a block. You go to your admin build blocks page, and it shows the block. Could be a list of uh, recent uh, comments or recent posts or whatever you like it to be. The feed, very self-explanatory, provides uh, an XML feed to uh, anybody that wants an XML feed of your stuff. You have lots of posts, lots of content. You can filter it by specific uh, taxonomy or specific date ranges or whatever you like and um, provide a feed. But the attachment display is not one that uh, many people understand. Um, it, it's, it's perhaps awkwardly named. I don't know but we're going to launch into it. So what I have already, before uh, before the video even started, what I have is uh, a view here of my blog posts. And how do we know this? Of course, the filter is by a content type blog entry or node type blog entry. And is a node published? Yes. So we're only going to create lists of uh, published content because obviously if something's not published, perhaps there's a good reason for that. So we're not going to circumvent the non-publishing by showing non-published material. Uh, and I have one display of the page and has a path called video test. And I'm going to show you the preview of the page. And very simply, it's uh, all my blog posts, most recent. Uh, uh, we came, we saw, we Drupal. That's Jeff Robbins, uh, Dimitri Gaskin, and myself playing the Drupal song in San Francisco. A lot of fun. And lots of, lots of, video, uh, lots of blog posts here going through the course of time. I'm only showing 10 per page right now. Right there, you can change that. But uh, the idea is, you know, so maybe I wanted to use this for a front page. Maybe my front page is going to be just a list of blog posts by title. Um, and th this image is actually embedded in the body with a WYSIWYG. And then here's the categories, uh, all the uh, all the taxonomy terms that my posts are tagged with. And you know, there's some layout issues here. I could I could theme this up a bit, but the point I'm trying to make is how to use the views attach. So I'm going to create a new display. I'm going to call it the attachment add display. So it inherits all the defaults. I have very few defaults. Now we're still filtering by the node type equals blog entry and the node published is yes. That just shows us a bunch of terms. But a big list of terms is not what we want so we're going to undo this. So we're in the context of the attachment display here. I'll click on that. I override. Now I'm just uh, editing the fields on my attachment display. I'm going to remove this and uh, it has no fields so it has no fields. Let's go with uh, let's go with node. Instead of showing all my fields, let's show the full node here. Alrighty. Update default? No. Override. And update. And we have a couple options here. We're going to just use the default options and say update. And there we are. So, if I go to preview the attachment, it shows 10 nodes uh, in their fullness. Well, that's not what I want. Let's take it down to one. And override this. So we're not making changes. If I, if I don't keep overriding, I'm also making changes to my pages display. I do not want to make changes to the page display, so I'll say update now. And now it just shows the one. And on the attachment, here's some options. Attachment settings. Inherit arguments, yes. If we were using arguments, we would want them inherited. Inherit exposed filters, no. And render pager, yes, if there was one. Uh, position before, attached to what? 
No, okay, right now it says it's going to be positioned before something, but it's not attached to anything. Well, what are our options? By clicking on the None, we can attach it to the default, or we're going to attach it to the page. Now, this page here is the exact same page as that page there. If I give that page a name, that name would appear here. So we're going to attach this. Update. So now, this view is attached before the page. Exactly. Now in the preview, all we still get is the first one. But if you look at the page and preview it, we get two of these. Of course we do because we have this, this view called attachment which shows the first node. Here's my first node, my first blog post. And then my page shows the first through tenth. So we got the first one appearing twice. And um, that's not going to do for us. So I will change things. I will go up to my page and I will say, hey you, when you show ten posts, items to display ten, you can ignore the very first one. And override never want to change my defaults, update. And now I have this. So I have the first blog post you're looking at here in my in my page. This is all still going to be at the page uh, labeled uh, with the path video-test. So I have uh, this blog post as title, the post information, the image in the body, uh, the report to Mullum, the uh, link to my blogs, a link to add a new comment. You can read more. This is how many times it's been read. This is the full node picture of what this, this blog post is about. We came, we saw, we dribbled. And it's all formatted the way a node is formatted. Uh, but then, starting with my second post, now this, this is the attachment above, attachment before page. This is the actual page. Now we're back to just my generic little view here of uh, horizontal rules and uh, just limited information. Uh, this blog post has no category, so the word category appears there in space with nothing next to it. So this needs a lot of theming and some love. But uh, I have two views. That's, this, is, this is the big point. I have two views on the exact same page. The page is uh, dougvan.com slash video dash test. I'm going to save this. And the view has been saved. And the name of this view is attachment display video. So it tells us the view attachment display video has been saved. And now we can see that the view has been saved, and the name of this view is Attachment Display Video. And now we can head over to the page and take a look and see what it looks like. So here's the front page of the site, and by adding in the video test, hitting enter, this is the page. So what do we have? We have the newest blog, the most recent blog, we came, we saw, we drupled, and this is a full note, it has the report to Mullum, the link to the blog, the add new comment link, the read more, how many times it's been read, and then, um, this is, this, remember, this is the attachment display positioned before the page. This is the first. This is the second view we built. The first view we built is actually this one, the page view. So we have two views. This is this is uh, the blog of the second most recent, all the way down to the tenth most recent, at the very bottom. So uh, very simple. We did uh, the view here. We started off with the page, and then after we made the page, we did an attachment with the position before the page that we just created up there. So, very simple stuff, very simple. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let us know what you want to see in the future. Uh, check us out over here at cmsquickstart.com. Contact button right there, fill out the information. Say uh, say what you'd like to see coming up. Uh, we like doing these videos, and we've had some great feedback, actually. People have said they appreciate this, and uh, keep it going. So we took a little pause here for a while, but we're making them some more. Do check out our Drupal themes, they're very cool. And uh, you've seen enough of my blog site today, but that's me. Check me out at dougman.com. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.